On a brisk and cloudy day last December, United Airlines Flight 2701 took off from Chicago O'Hare's airport. From the outside, there was nothing remarkable about the Boeing 737 MAX jet. It was one of roughly 900 planes that take off from O'Hare every single day. But this particular United flight marked an important milestone in the travel industry because it was the first full passenger flight to operate on 100% sustainable fuel. As climate change becomes an increasing concern, airliners are grappling with how to clean up their act. And the industry has set an ambitious goal to reach net zero carbon by 2050. To do this, the aviation industry is developing several options to tackle emissions, including upping the use of biofuels on a number of planes. But bringing that new aviation technology to the tarmac will take time and a huge amount of government support. So what are these new technologies and will they be effective in cutting down carbon emissions? And what turbulence lies ahead as airlines work to adopt cleaner energy sources? I'm Alexis Garcia, and today we'll learn how airlines are moving toward a more sustainable future on this episode of Growth Stories. Just a few months before United Airlines' historic flight, officials at the UN were preparing a dire report on climate that was called a code red for humanity. Last year, the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change issued a pretty scary warning saying that humans are on track to cause irreversible damage to the earth without a rapid and major decline in greenhouse gas emissions. That's IBD reporter Jillian Rich, who recently took a look at the growing push toward greener energy in the airline industry. The global aviation industry is responsible for 2.5% of all of these greenhouse gas emissions. Now you may be wondering, if airlines only account for such a small fraction of total global emissions, would the transition to sustainable fuels be enough to even put a dent in those numbers? Jillian says that number won't always stay so small. Air travel emissions are expected to grow as more people take to the skies for the first time, thanks to the booming growth of the middle classes in China and India. And the airline industry is concerned that not taking action on climate issues will negatively affect their bottom line. Investors are also playing a part in pushing the aerospace industry toward a greener future. There's this general push by investors on Wall Street for a focus on ESG, which stands for Environmental, Social, and Governance. Uh, We're seeing this across all kinds of industries, from oil companies, energy companies, to airlines. These environmental issues aren't fringe issues anymore. They're very real concerns for Wall Street and investors. So how are airlines planning to go green? So there's kind of three main technologies being developed. And the first is biofuels, which is not some dream for the future, but actually real technology that is happening now. Traditional jet fuel is made from kerosene, an almost transparent, highly flammable liquid made from crude oil. But it's possible to make jet fuel from other things like vegetable oil, algae, rotting fruit, and yes, even used diapers. This mixture, known as biofuels or sustainable aviation fuel, could cut carbon pollution from airplanes by about 60%. And that would put pollution on planes on par with ground transportation like buses and trains. Several airlines, including United Airlines, American Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, and Air France, already power airplanes with a blend of conventional fuel and biofuel, though biofuels only account for a tiny part of the mix. And then there's hydrogen-fueled aircraft, which analysts estimate is a couple of decades out. And one final area that's generating a lot of buzz is the shift to electric. Electric cars are really making a splash in auto markets. Tesla turned it into kind of like a sexy sports car type of industry, but batteries on aircraft face some unique challenges weight-wise that cars do not face. An analyst told me that pound for pound jet fuel provides 14 times more energy than a battery. So the industry really needs to make battery technology to evolve for use in larger aircraft. Coming up, we take a look at some of the challenges and regulatory hurdles airlines face as they take steps toward a more sustainable future. Stay tuned. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to IBD Live. We're here to help you make more money in the stock market. On IBD Live, we give you actionable trade ideas every day. We follow the entire trade, buying, holding, and selling. We've built an amazing community of investors. They're excited to join us every morning, and we're excited to talk with them and take on the market. 
Sign up at Investors.com slash IPD Live. So we've just heard about how airliners are working to adopt greener, more sustainable fuels. And the industry has set some lofty targets to get clean energy implemented. There are two main challenges with biofuel, and those challenges are cost and supply. There's kind of a catch-22 with the technology right now. Biofuels are more costly than kerosene, which is jet fuel, because airlines aren't buying enough of this biofuel for producers to make more biofuel and lower the cost. So biofuel demand needs to be there for supply to increase, and supply needs to be there for demand to increase. Right now, biofuels cost about four times as much as conventional jet fuel, and they make up less than 1% of fuel available in the market. For there to be more widespread adoption in the industry, costs need to come down dramatically. And that's where the government is stepping in. In September, President Joe Biden said the United States would aim to produce 3 billion gallons of sustainable fuel, which is about 10% of current jet fuel use. That announcement was part of a larger deal the Biden administration made with the airline industry to replace all jet fuel use with sustainable options by 2050. Some airline executives remain skeptical as to the industry's ability to completely wean itself off jet fuel. Here's United CEO Scott Kirby during an interview at the 2021 Sustainable Aviation Fuel Summit. We're not going to get all the way there with sustainable aviation fuel. That's why this industry's ability to decarbonize is not just about sustainable aviation fuel. It's a pillar, but another pillar I think needs to be carbon sequestration. So just how far in the future could we expect to see hydrogen planes and air taxis being used? Air taxis, they are trying to bet on that in the next five to 10 years. Something like a hydrogen aircraft is going to be further out into the future. Boeing estimates regional flights in 2030 and then more medium haul flights in 2050. But again, things like regulatory delays or anything else could put that timeline out even further. A big thanks to Jillian Rich for her terrific reporting. Growth Stories is a production of Investors Business Daily. I'm your host, Alexis Garcia, and we'll see you next time. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.